Well, hello, hello. I know it's been a little while since I made a video. I apologize, but I have been hoarding a bunch of stuff. Some stuff that's behind me, some stuff that's behind me over here. But um, I'll give you guys a quick little update on everything that's going on. So for the K-Truck homies, we have amazing news. After a long awaited, I don't even know what, just a long annoyance. I finally have a title for the K-Truck. So again, shout out to Boyke. If you guys don't know, I bought my mini truck here. Had zero issues. Um, it just didn't have a title, so I got a title transfer. And now I'm ready. I'm going to drop that off at the DMV. And hopefully have plates on this by next week, I guess. Also, I'm going to be using this. So if you guys don't know, I have a clothing line called Way Before the Fame. Um, I'm actually going to take these out the packaging in the best way. I'm going to use like... Um, nail polish remover to get it off and then I'm gonna put waitforthefame.com right here on the side of the truck the same way that it looks like this so if you kind of see I know I obviously don't have a 2014 sandbar but most people are not gonna really care about that so I'm actually gonna customize this to look like that um, I'm gonna see if I can somehow get a stencil for this as well but I'm excited for this I'm probably gonna drop these around Christmas and maybe even do it for like free because you know these are like a dollar so that's gonna be a dope little feature for way for the fame and then the miata again shout out matt ivan i haven't had any issues with the tune the only thing that's been a little wacky is the afrs but they're not even connected right now so i'm not really focusing and then on load it does go straight to rich so as long as i'm not super lean on um load and stuff like that i'm pretty good but i'm now starting to buy parts for the miata i was kind of just saving money um well actually not really i was saving money but i was kind of recoup the money because obviously i don't need this and i have another car so i was kind of just saving getting my money together then i also spent a lot of money on this stuff so i went to harbor freight bought basically everything because i know i'm going to be working on the miata a lot i'm not going to say that it's not reliable but like i said in my other video i do want to learn how to work on cars I would say, I guess, like, the more in-depth stuff, because I know how to, like, I know of a lot of things, but I've never done them. But, yeah, basically went to Harbor Freight, bought this, bought a jack, bought jack stands, got tools, got all the good stuff. So, I'm ready to work on the Miata. Work on everything, honestly. So, I'm pretty excited about this. This was a really big purchase, all of this stuff. Um, and then I got some stuff for the Miata. So, today's video is honestly going to be about installing the hard top brackets from Moss Motors. So actually we got three things going on in this video. There's actually a lot of fun things going on in this video. But the first thing we're gonna do is work on the Moss Miata kit. So we're not gonna pay attention to this yet, but this is gonna be a fun little project that actually might be really dope. So if I have enough time, I'll show you guys it, but I will definitely show you the after effect um, when it comes to whatever I'm gonna be using this for. It's gonna be game changing, trust me. So either stay to the end or watch the next video because this is gonna save you guys a lot of money, trust me. Um, but yeah, so we got the hard top brackets. I haven't even opened it yet, so let's open this up really quickly. What? They only send me the hardware. Maybe I'm getting another package one of these days. Okay, so I just checked my email. They actually did send me a separate email. Um, the actual hard top brackets are gonna get here on Monday. So stay tuned for that video Monday or Tuesday. I was actually really excited to put those on because um, I feel like my hard top does have a little rattle to it. And obviously for safety reasons, that's why I cashed out and got this. This right here is 60 bucks. Like that's pretty ridiculous, but the way hard tops are going right now, that's a $2,000 investment that I'm trying to protect. But um, I guess we'll do that side video right now. This is probably going to be a shorter video than expected. But um, I guess I'll do a quick little walk around of the Miata while I'm here. Since we can install those brackets. So this is a 1990 Miata. If you haven't seen my other videos. Um, I bought it from this guy named Josh. Josh, if you're watching this video, I feel like we were somehow brothers. Because literally, I'm not lying everything that you did to this miata i would have done myself um except for like a couple things but it's just dope it's kind of cool and kind of trash like no not trying to say that he's trash but that i basically bought somebody else's 
car that is kind of my dream car because you know you buy a lot of cars and it's like oh yeah i'm gonna change this this and this but there's not a lot that i would actually change in this but like i don't like that i'm driving someone else's car maybe it's all in my head it's definitely not but um, i'm probably gonna do little changes just because that factor like i feel like i'm dating someone else's girlfriend um so i don't want to make this my own so i might do little things like the seat is ripped so i'm probably just gonna get this reupholstered to maybe blue like that track hog blue change this to blue and then just do all the little accents blue instead of red um because red suits are cool but everyone has red seats no one really has blue seats but anyways my goals for the winter is really just to keep it just like this it's the 1.6 cx racing turbo kit um different downpipe and different manifold um not sure from where i think he said it was bean fab or something but i haven't had any issues haven't had any serious issues i mean this is not a good sign so I'll probably put that back on right now but I'll stop talking. I just really had intentions of installing those hardtop brackets, but we're gonna do this quick little DIY project. So let me get the tools together and um, we'll see if we can do this in like maybe a good five minutes, hopefully. So I'll catch you guys in a sec. Okay, so here's everything you're gonna need for this project right now. So basically um, I sell these 3M jackets. So if you're watching this video and you bought something from Wait for the Fame before, you're familiar with this jacket. So I sell these dope 3M jackets. They're really cool, they're really reflective. Um, and at night when you take a picture of it, you basically can't see yourself. I actually post a picture because I have a ton from like sneaker con and stuff like that. So here's what the jacket looks like. It's pretty fire. And, and I have these carbon fiber license plate frames. So what I want to do basically is wrap this frame um, in this 3M. So I took out like the mesh and I took out the embroidery and everything. And it's basically just a bare jacket now. So what I'm going to do is use some alcohol to clean off this whole surface. Um, I'm going to cut it. Initially, I wanted to have someone sew it, but... I don't really know anyone that can do that for me. So what I'm going to do is just clean this off, um, cut basically like, you know, four strips, um, Loctite it on, and this is going to be my license plate bracket. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to get this done. Um, this jacket is basically ruined, so I don't mind cutting like large pieces. Like I'm going to just demolish, even if it takes me one jacket to get this perfectly, I don't mind. But I'm most likely going to put this on all my cars because... I just think it's gonna be a nice touch, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're watching this video and you're a car guy, wouldn't it be dope to have reflective license plate frames? Like, I think we can all find that pretty cool for numerous reasons. But um, I think it's gonna be pretty dope. So I'm gonna work on that now. Um, gonna get this done. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. I mean, I'm just cutting and gluing. So besides that, I'm gonna finish this. So let's just work on this right now. And then I'll definitely at some point in this video, at once it gets night out, um, I'll take a picture of my light spray frames and show you guys what the results look like. So let's start cutting. All right, so let's put this here. So quick little update. Um, we cut this piece. We got this one down. This is really just a prototype. So it doesn't look the cleanest. I mean, there's some gap right there, some gap over there, but my main goal is just for all this to be reflective. If it comes out pretty dope and it does exactly what I want it to do, um, I'm definitely gonna be putting this on all my cars. So I know I'm gonna do them better. I'm just gonna have to sacrifice a hundred dollar jacket. Pretty excited to do this. So I think I'm just gonna do the second side. I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse so you guys don't have to see everything and I'll just explain it while I go. All right, so here's how both of the 3M plates came out. Um, I think it looks pretty dope. It's exactly how I want it to look. Um, it's gonna go nice with the car color as well. I'm gonna let these dry for a couple hours and then most likely I can use alcohol to take off this little extra glue and stuff. We'll come back later tonight and give you updates how it looks at night. So it's been about like three hours. It's pretty dark out now. The plates are still here. Um, let's see how they feel. Feel nice and tight, I'm not gonna lie. They're a little wet from condensation, but now let's put them on. I'll put them on the back of the K truck, for example. So you can't even really see right now, which is exactly what I want. But I'm gonna take my phone out and we're gonna take a picture. Actually, now let me put it on my actual license plate because there's no plate there to see if it even makes a difference. So we're gonna mount this up like that and bear with me because I know you can't see anything. So we're gonna take a picture on my phone 
and let's see I'll stand like from this far back let's see if we can actually read the plate um you kind of can that's pretty trash I don't know I don't know how I feel about that just yet let me take another picture let me take a picture closer see if that makes it better or worse it makes it a lot more legible I'm also using this the cameras I'm quote unquote worried about are not using an iPhone this close. Although I think their cameras are good and all, I don't think they're this good. So let's go back a little further because the cameras are usually tall if you guys know what I mean. So we'll take it from all the way back here. There's no way it's gonna be able to read my plate. Ah, see that's what I'm looking for. That, and honestly, I'm gonna say it's a success as of right now. Uh, if this video gets like 200 likes, I'll purposely drive fast in an area where there's a speed camera. Um, and we'll see if it works out because I think that's going to be the actual result. The fact that I'm this close, I feel like is a, isn't really a safe, like, you know what I mean? That's not a safe comparison and I'm using an iPhone. But with that being said, I'm pretty happy with the results of the plate. Um, I know you can read it, but like I said, it's kind of not really that safe of a real test because i'm using an iphone and the cameras i'm worried about are not iphone so with that being said thanks for watching more videos coming soon like i said monday i'm going to get the rest of the parts from moss miata also have the tps coming from fly miata so that's coming soon and some door bushings but i don't think that's going to be a video that'll probably be in the same video i get the tps in so with that being said thanks for watching like comment subscribe and get this video to at least 200 likes if you guys want me to take a chance. It's going to be like a 50, I think it's like 50 bucks. That's a $50 gamble. But it could be saving everyone in the car community hundreds of dollars. So with that being said, drive safe. Have a good one. Peace.